So I've had an engine warning light come up on my XSR700, bit annoying. So this video I'm going to have a look at reading the fault code. <laughs> everyone, as I said, this video is to look at reading the fault codes off the XSR700. What I'm going to try and use is a very cheap um, Bluetooth uh, OBT2 reader that I bought quite a long time ago for cars. You just plug it into the car socket, connect through Bluetooth, download a free app, and you can read the codes off there. You can get these for about £10, 10 pounds off uh, Amazon and eBay. Um, I've used this quite a few times. It's been a bit difficult to use to get the Bluetooth set up before but I've always managed it in the end with a lot of off and on and resetting you probably can get models that are a bit more easy to use um, but on the Yamaha motorbike um, the connector it's not a car connector it's quite a small one as you can see I've, I've removed the seat um, I just removed the rubber cap and with the cap removed you can see um, it's a much smaller plug than you get on a car and it's only got four terminals on the inside so after a bit of a research I found on the internet you can buy these adapters which takes the car adapter and supposedly converts it to the Yamaha adapter as you can see there's four pins there and there's only actual actually four pins um, with contacts inside the car adapter so what I'm going to try and do is plug this in plug in the Bluetooth adapter um, and then see if the car software I've already got will read the fault codes up and tell me what is the issue with the engine. Well that actually connected incredibly easy, far, incredibly easy, far easier than it has done when I've used it on cars before. Um, I'm using an app called Talk Lite which is a free download and uh, that's given me the fault code straight away, only one, which seems to point to the manifold pressure or the mass airflow sensor. Um, I wonder if that, I wonder if that could be linked to the uh, work I've done on the air intake recently. It, it shouldn't, but I wonder if I've knocked a sensor or something somewhere. So I'm going to have to investigate that and see if I can diagnose and repair that. But as you can see, it's pretty pretty simple to read fault codes um, off a of Yamaha. You do have to uh, interpret the code after you've read it, but it was pretty straightforward. You just need. A fairly cheap code reader you don't have to use a bluetooth one but they are quite convenient and then this adapter seems to work pretty well as well all in all you're probably looking about 30 pound combined for the two together but uh, if you were to take it to a dealer um, it would cost a lot more i assume to have those codes read so anyway i hope you found that useful thanks for watching see you next time